so hello everyone in the last video we, i have covered the introduction to the surfaces and the many ways by which you can actually make it uh, we have made the surfaces using the free form uh, in this video i am going to you know uh, tell you about the ways by which you can analyze the surface and uh, you can even use the various utilities so i will try to actually cover uh, you know the most of them so let's start the curve that i am using is actually this one uh, that uh, um, this curve is actually the you know the lofted surface and the you know uh, the these you can see the green lines here these are the curves on which uh, the loft surface is formed so let's go one by one and uh, you know find the, all the analyzing tools the first one is the box corner let me connect it and you can find you can see something like this uh, box corner is something imagine uh, your surface being bounded in a you know a cuboidal box uh, so that's what it happens if we form a line uh, uh, you know connecting all of these uh, points then this surface would lie between in that box the output of this particular component is actually the you know the coordinates of uh, every uh, every you know the point let's uh, go to the next one let me turn off the preview of this one first and the next one is uh, uh, deconstruct box uh, when we connect it it actually gives the properties of the box which uh, will be actually surrounding it so let's see the what are the properties the first one is the box plane which is what xy plane you can see here even in the rhino and the next one is the x limits like uh, the uh, what is the range in which the actually the box is uh, you know existing like x in x minus 10 to 23 in y this one and z this value so the construct box actually gives us the parameters regarding the uh, the box outer box uh, the next one is the box properties uh, this one kind of does the same but it gives the different properties that is the only different so let's see what are the properties it gives it gives the center of the box and the next one is a diagonal vector the you know the vector connecting the diagonal points and this one gives the area of the box and last one is a volume and the very last component actually gives the degeneracy of the box box is actually very important when we will be uh, you know exploring the well uh, things like you know the mesh and uh, you know uh, i can't find right now the when you know we will be exploring things like you know um, uh, editing the surface using some control points then we can you know also edit that particular surface using the bounding box that's when we need to use these kind of properties so turn off the preview uh the last one uh, not the last one so this particular edges uh, prep edges gives us the information regarding the you know the edges which are involved in the surface so if i connect the first one what it gives line like curve it, what it means it gives the outer uh, edges of the particular uh, surface that we are having this one gives the internal uh, edges but there is no internal edges because it is made from you know a lofted surface of two curves and the last one is a non-manifold surfaces which are also not here so turn out the preview go to the next next one is a deconstruct prep so let's see what does it give it gives us the first thing that it gives the face uh, that we have right now let me see what it does yes faces of prep and the next one gives the edges you can see it gives the our edges and last one is the vertexes it gives the coordinates of the vertex of the surface so let me just turn off the preview um the next thing that we have is uh, yes it gives us the u and v range of the particular surface you know the uh, a 3d surfaces uh, are actually you know defined by uv coordinates because uh, um, we can you know define them uh, in better way in uv rather than you know 3d coordinates i have covered 
some of the components uh, difference between the PD and UV in the last video you can go over and look at it so you can see the the maximum value that we have for U is 42 and for the V is uh, 53 uh, we will be using these value in this particular video so the next one is now you can see uh, the name is surface points so you know these surfaces are, are actually made from uh, control points but uh, this particular uh, surface the first one was actually a lofted surface so you could, we could and you only control it by using the edges which are where loft was used so let's see the second surface so this is actually a revolved surface you can see this one is a profile curve and this one is axis uh, this particular straight one so when i change the angle we see a surface getting formed so let's explore the properties what we are going to get from here so let me connect it the surface yes so the first one gives up me the control points so if you actually want to control the surface you can you know manipulate its control point so if you want to see the list of them you can use the particular component surface points next one gives the weight of each uh, control point like how much influence a particular control point have on the uh, geometry that is the you know the weight of a control point and the next one is a uh, uv coordinates and uh, it says the number of control points along u and the next one says the number of control points along the v direction let's go next let me turn off the preview we don't need the surface to let me remove it yes nope so let's go next let's back to with this surface again and the next one is actually area is pretty simple it predicts the area of the uh, surface and next one gives the centroid you just have to connect it you can see it have you can see it is showing the you know the centroid of the surface here so you can connect it it will give the area and the coordinates of the centroid next let's go to next now there is a something new i would like to introduce you so let me turn off the preview here yes so next one is a evaluate surface uh, and it gives a lot of things but you know it it doesn't it takes the uh, also one more parameter that is you know the uv coordinates so for the uv coordinates i have bring the uh, md slider you can change the md slider domain from here x and y domain i took so the surface that we have is from here the lofted surface and we will be controlling the uv coordinates using the md slider so you can see when i change the uh, here you can see the corresponding changes are happening so let's see the bottom uh, horizontal line is actually u coordinates so you can see when i am you, you know moving in a straight line you can see uh, surface have a movement in a straight line too but uh, actually you know we have unwrapped the whole surface into a uv coordinate system which is uh, actually you can see in uh, md slider so you can see we can access the each point so when we connect this one with the panel so this it gives that the, at this particular uh, uv point what is the 3d coordinates and this gives us the normal vector and what does it give it gives the u direction it gives the v direction and last one gives the frame at that particular uv coordinate so let's go to the next and let me turn off the preview here yes so next one also take these two values so, but you know it's a curvature it gives us a, a you know minimum curvature and the maximum curvature so the first one gives the surface frame at this particular uv coordinate and the curvature values you can just easily see them and the uh, next one is quite important is this one so what you can do here what we do here actually in this component we we you know we take a whole surface 
and we tell a range you can see the whole surface that we have we can then we what we do we give it a range of u then we give, we give it a range of v then what it does it divides the whole surface like i have chosen you know the four uh, here and the u count you can see the four divisions in the view direction one two three four you can see and there is a i have taken v count to be two then there is a two parts in v so as i vary here you can see the changes happening here so this tool is you know used to you know divide the surfaces and uh, the first output is division point the second one is a normal vector at those points and the last one is uh, uv coordinates at those points so let me turn off the preview here let's see one more example here so imagine you have a you know a surface and you want to you know you want a particular section of the surface so what you can do you can use this particular tool that's iso trim you connect the surface with the first one and the second one takes the domain and the domain is of a uh, you know in the domain we give range of u and v in which we want the surface uh, let me rotate it so you will see better yes connect with g yes now you can see so the first two values here take the minimum of u and the maximum of u and this one take the maximum of v uh, maximum of v and here minimum of u so as i change the values you can see we are getting a different portions here you can see here so you define the surface like which uh, you can define the surface that you want from using these u by manipulating these values u and v then you get the surface now suppose we want to actually you know use this particular surface only then what we can do we can you know select this one so there's a tool called trim what it does it actually trims the particular surface so let in the first what we do we select the host surface from which we are trimming and this one is a trimming surface now the surface is trim so let me tell you how you can actually identify that it's been trimmed so there's a tool called offset you can use offset to actually you know make a copy and you know you can put at the surface at a particular distance so when i connect it the inputs are actually the surface and the distance and the last one is a retrim so i am connecting this with surface here and let's see what's happened when i change the distance so you can see the surface has actually trimmed up so these are the some basic tools which are you know used to manipulate surface and uh, you know you can use them in your algorithms to you know you can use these in your projects so till next project goodbye